Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Baldwin oil filter, number B1402. And I got this used Baldwin oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Matt from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks, Matt. This filter was in service for seven months, 5,350 miles, and came off of Matt's mother's 2019 Subaru Forester. Yep, the one with the 2.5 liter boxer engine, which now has 32,000 miles. She was using Mobile One Zero W20 Advanced Fuel Economy Oil during this period. Let's open up this Baldwin oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta glue the whole thing be nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. Right here it says, Made in USA. And a date code. 11092207035. And this filter has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a nitro brand anti drain back valve. Three grooves ever threads. Metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. And a nitro rubber gasket. And I'll put the thickness of that on the screen. Looks good. Okay, let's open this filter up. Not too much oil. Okay. Oh, it sits on there nicely and drain back well. I'll clean it up, but it doesn't look like it has any any slits or tears in it. Looks fine. Base plate looks fine. Filter element, metal end caps, bypass valve right here, and this has a setting of 14 psi. That looks good. No excess glue that I can see. Let's see, look up close. Oh, right here, some excess glue. Yep, yeah, that's excess glue right there. Pleats look nicely spaced. I don't see no tears. This is probably the seam right here. We got an inside seam, probably a metal crimp seam actually. Yeah, this all looks good. And I, I'm pretty sure this is a paper filter media with a micron rating of 23 nominal and 45 absolute. Yeah, this all looks good though. Okay. Inside so the can, oh, we got a coil spring. Nice. Can, ooh, no sludging, it looks pretty clean in here. Yeah, no soot, no carbon. Oil doesn't look too dark. That looks good, let's get some measurements. I'm gonna remeasure this, but I'm getting I think that's a little bit too much. I don't think it's 0.52, but I'll remeasure it anyways. And the filter element. I'm having a hard time here. It's slippery. Okay. 2.50 minus one tenth of an inch. Okay, let me cut this filter open. Squeeze it out and stretch it out and uh, see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And this Baldwin filter is 47 inches long. Okay, and let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.81 millimeters thick. 
This is the filtering side, back side. And I took two pictures of this, this filter media, this sample right here, because I found a really light spot. I figured I'd show you guys that light spot. But it did catch some stuff. There's really nothing on the surface. Let's take a look at that microscope picture. So as you can see in one of the spots there that I took the picture of it, uh, you could see like almost, you know, some light spots there. And you can you could see some carbon in there also. Another thing I want to mention about this filter, when I was squeezing it out, I was smelling a lot of fuel. And I, I think this, uh, you know, if you smell this stuff, I know you guys can't smell it. We don't have smell of vision yet. But anyways, yeah, if you smell this stuff, you know, you can smell the gasoline in it. I wonder if these engines have that kind of a problem. Let's get you guys up close. You can see the surface. There's like no soot, no carbon. You know, it's just discolored. It's darker, but that's, you know, that's normal. There's a couple little sparklies I saw. And I don't even see them right now for some reason. But there's a couple in there. I think there's one there. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so the gasket, gasket looks fine. You see a little ridge on there from, that was where it's sitting against the block. That's normal, looks good. The any drain bag valve, that looks good too. Looks like it would hold the oil pretty good and it's kept its shape. Base plate's fine. Coil spring, that's nice, I like those. And we got louvers. Let me check these louvers out. Uh, you can see they're opened up. So those are fine. It just goes on like that. And the can. I had it sitting like this. This is what it looks like. Nice and clean in there. Yeah. So the filter looks like it did a pretty good job. My only concern is the fuel odor. If it was my vehicle, I'd get a oil analysis just to see what the fuel is doing in there. And again, I want to thank Matt for sending me this used Baldwin oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. Okay, here's one sparkly I see. Look at that. Magnetic. Took that right in.